So I wanted to share something I was thinking about, about everybody's going to be getting their money back with their income tax and things like that. And oftentimes there's emergencies. I was just reading an article that uh, 30% of people they polled, they polled 2000 people that they were going to save their money. Another 30% were going to pay down debt. And then the other 30% were just basically going to blow it on something that they've been wanting for quite a while. But I had this idea. Take that money and move. And this isn't applicable to everybody, obviously. But I remember that when my wife and I moved out of California and I told my wife things were becoming more expensive, things were becoming more dangerous. And I said, if we don't move now, our children will have to make that decision for their families in the future. And so it was a personal hit on our collective family and our collective finances at the time um, to move. And we didn't have a lot of money at the time. And so I said, let's just do that. So we prayed about it. We talked about it. And we decided that was what was best for us. We didn't even have a lot of money. We barely had enough to move. Had this small opportunity. And what's funny is that opportunity actually ended up falling through. But I took it as, hey, you know what? We're at least out of California. Now, this isn't just applicable to California. This might be applicable to your personal situation. And maybe that's abuse. Maybe you're going through abuse. Maybe that's you've been in the same neighborhood for so long that you just can't imagine leaving. But the consequences of not leaving are maybe allowing your children or your children's children to experience things that they shouldn't be experiencing. Maybe it's the crime has gone up. Maybe the economy has come down. And so there's so many uh, myriad of things that could be taking a place in your specific situation. But I wanted to give this out to you. I wanted to encourage you to don't blow your money. Don't spend it on something because you're trying to fill a void of desperation or depression or sadness, or you're trying to uh, just buy that one electronic flat screen TV or whatever it might be just to fill some void of happiness of or lack thereof. Take that money and make a life altering decision. Take that money and move. And there's people out there that you've been in the same spot. You've been in a place where you know you've needed to move. You've wanted to move, but you never pulled the trigger. If you have a little bit of cash coming to you with this income tax, put whatever you're going to do with that money on hold and get out of Dodge. And I think for a lot of you, it's going to pay dividends. And I'm not saying go willy nilly without a plan. Come up with a plan. Look at the top 10 states and cities that have the best economies, find out what your industry is in, and make the step towards bettering off your family. And so I wanted to encourage you, if you've been in the same spot, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to who have wanted to move out of California who've never pulled the trigger. And 10, 12, 15 years down the road, it's one of their biggest regrets. And they often tell me, had I to do it over, I would have done it. 12 years ago, but now their kids are teenagers, 16, 17, 18. They're going to be going to college. And now it's like, well, now we can't move out of California because now our kids are graduating and we want to be near our kids, which is extremely important. But had they made that decision, maybe when their kids were two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever the case might be under 10 um, before they lay down real roots, um, it would have been easier. And I've talked to innumerable. Um, more than the fingers on my hand that had they to do it over, that's what they would have done. And so I was thinking about that in reading that article about what people are going to do with their income tax. And I just wanted to give you a shout out of encouragement to take that money and run. All right. So those are my thoughts on that. I hope it encourages you. I hope you like subscribe to this channel. We'll see you next time.